Hello everyone and welcome. I'm Grandmaster Grum and this is Missed Messages. I know this has been around for a little while but I thought well why not give it a go. Uh, it's a cool little indie game. I think it's uh, it's about a, a kind of a mixture between a horror and uh, you know romance and a few other things. I haven't seen this at all so it's going to be uh, new for me as well. So anyway guys without further ado let's um let's crack on oh okay there are mentions of suicide and self-harm in this game <clears throat> perfect for staying inside and finishing my work Ah, so it's your typical look around, point and click on things. Let's have a look at the flags. Let people know I'm gay and I just <laughs> and don't just like flannels. All right, cool. Anything on there? Plants? No. Books. Books with titles like multivariable calculus to let people know that I'm capable of member. I'm a, I'm a capable member of society, and I can't read. I have never read them. There you go, then. Is there different books? No. Well, uh, I borrowed multi-variable calculus from my roommate, May, to distract onlookers from the more questionable titles. Okay, cool. Let's have a look at the plants. Plants in this room have proven health benefits. They raise the air humidity, reduce toxic elements, and can improve productivity and contra concentration. I almost said const constipation. You don't want a plant to do that. No, I'm not making excuses for my plant collecting habits. Cool. Tea. Sometimes I sip, sip tea and fantasize about living a quiet life in a small lighthouse while writing poetry by candlelight. That's a bit of a... Uh, a bleak existence, isn't it? Okay, so let's do the mirror first. Is this me? Okay, cool. I think I'm a young lady. I can't really tell. I'm serving looks today. I just woke up. Look. Cool. Papers. My precious Madoka magic poster, which really just is just a printout. God, they are cute. <laughs> You're right, love me. Hope midterm went well. Got you, Bobber. It's Bobber. It's in the fridge. You're right. What's Bobber? And some notes for my friend and roommate May. Who is both distance and totes <laughs> distant and total sweetheart. Okay, cool. So I guess I'm in college. I'm a gay uh, lesbian. Um, I'm, I'm guessing I'm female, but who knows? Uh, let's look at the laptop. Ah, I need to work. Work stuff. But I'm so bored. I can't focus. Oh, what's this? Goth gifts, iPhone. Want to send you a note. What's this? Should I accept it? Uh, yeah, let's accept it. Work. I attempt to focus back on my work and succeed for some time. I begin to lose focus again. Okay, can I? Work. Preview. I do some work and start wondering when I'll ever have to use this in real life. Where is Bill Nye when I need him to answer my important questions? So do I just keep clicking on... Oh, I can click on these. That's pretty cool. Let's come out of here for a second, though. Right, let's just go back, actually, because we've done everything apart from go out. So I can't actually accept that. It's just telling me to work. Oh, we go. I can click on it now. 
What the hell? <laughs> oh my god, that's kind of like my small dog that I own, but we've got a Sheltie. That's funny, it's a baseball cap turned into a helmet. So cute. Send a meme back, send a note back. I'll send a meme back. I wonder if she'll respond. Is that my girlfriend then to GF? Uh, to go. Gator. Well, I guess that is girlfriend. Uh, two golf. Come on, thank you. No? Can I? S I don't know how to send it, guys. Uh, well, let's just accept. You're welcome. So, Pastel Princess MacBook Pro, <laughs> what are you up to? Working but can't focus. Essential. Cri existential crisis existential crisis my dude what about you ah I feel you I hope I'm not distracting bothering you LMK if you ever want to have a crisis together I'm currently procrastinating on some work with makeup hmm let me see the makeup yeah let me see the makeup Thank you, you're sweet. Let's see the makeup. I'm sure you worked on, worked hard on it. Okay, let's accept it. Tell me I'm beautiful, mother. Whoa, okay, mother. Uh, you're the cutest, that'll do. Hi, you're the most beautiful. There we go. So I've got an iPhone here now instead. She wants to send me a note. Oh my God. No, you. You're so cute. Go out with me. Uh, no, not yet. I don't, I don't think so. Not yet. No. Thank. No thanks, but I appreciate you asking. <laughs> That's okay. Good luck with work. Cool. So what's this? This is... Right, okay. So... Can I click on these? Oh, this is just the music. Okay, fine, whatever. Let's go to work stuff. So there's nothing more I can do here. Maybe I should have said yes to her. Don't know. Well, it's quite late. It's 9.31pm. Can I press anything else? Oh, okay, here we go. Oh, that's just that and then that's Spotify I guess or something and that is finder lets you share instantly with people nearby cool uh, can I click on anything nope all right let's go out of there soon the day was over I went out to eat with friends before I left my roommate opened her door oh Hello. You're leaving. When will you be back? Probably after nine. It's already after nine. It's like half nine. What are you talking about? Oh. Why? Why? Um, no reason. Okay, bye then. Well, she's distant, but maybe there's something wrong as well. Don't know. Wait. Um, before the day ends, happy birthday. You remembered? No one else remembered. I didn't even remember. Of course I remembered. Happy birthday oh Christ, that's to creepy. You. Happy birthday to right, okay. Happy birthday. Whoa, that was a bit. She sang for me sweetly. Mm. Thank you. No, thank you for being my friend. What? What are you telling me? Th Why are you telling me this? I just thought life is so short. Ah, oh, man. Why not express my appreciation for the people I care about? Life is so short. Mm. I don't know about this. She might be a bit depressed. Maybe we should take her out with us. Don't know. In that case, you're also an amazing friend. Thanks for being my friend too. Ah. 
Haha. Ha. I'll see you later. <laughs> what do you mean, I? Haha. Ha. Goodbye. Maybe I should do like the voices of the people. I don't know. I'm I'm not very good with accents, so <clears throat> I think I might just insult the uh, the game further than not being able to read things out. So I'll just stick to my own voice, guys. I ate dinner with friends as usual. I had turned my phone off to save battery. On my way back home, I checked my phone. Okay, May, you're a great friend. It's not your fault. I'm scared. Mom, hey sweetie, how was your day? Um, can I, uh, that's my phone going off. That's weird, wasn't it? A bit freaky. When I came back home, I felt cold, nervous. I didn't know why. Okay. Don't come in. Call the police. They'll know what to do. Love me. Don't come in the room. What the f... Don't come in. Call the police. Yeah. Love me. Ah, oh, man. What do I do? I'm going to call the police. Leave it to the professionals. I don't want to go in there and like, find a hanging or something or cut herself. That's... That's dark. Let's call the police. I called the police as I stared at the door, not blinking. When they arrived, I felt myself looking down on the scene. Myself, her, the police that eventually came. A dismembered body feeling. I heard myself scream endlessly. Christ. What the hell? My dismembered, my dismembered, dissembled bod, I can't speak, dismembered, disembodied self watched me move and talk like an actor in the surreal circus I found myself in. I overheard strangers and friends alike talk. Did you hear what happened? No, what? Someone committed suicide. That's so sad. Who? Where? Second floor. You probably don't know her. May? No, but that sucks. Most pitied the way she went, but but didn't miss her. I remembered her smile, her laugh, the way she'd be kind in small ways. I couldn't forget her. When new people came into my life, I searched for her in them. I couldn't help it. I hope she was still here. It was only during the funeral that the really reality sunk in. At the funeral, I heard her singing. How sad and slow. This is weird. Her singing when everyone else forgot. Her not being there anymore to remember. As I listened to her, my disembodied self crashed down to reality. The pain hit, this time without anesthesia of shock. It was This was real. She was dead, and we were putting her in the ground. The end. No one saw it coming. Could I have? There was a message. Was there a message I missed? Oh... Right, let's let's do that again. Okay. A heavy blizzard stretched for miles. In the distance I saw a figure. May? It's not safe here. Oh, this is so cool. It's not making me redo it. It's like continuing. Oh, that is that is awesome. May, is that you? Come back. She just smiled, looking content admits, content admits the dangerous hail. As if she was going somewhere better, as if she hadn't heard my voice, lost in the blizzard. Don't go, please don't go, alone. She disappeared into the snow, I missed my chance. Whoa. The snow's in the house. 
I wake up in a cold sweat, fearful but not sure why. What was that about? Never mind that, I should start working. It's all back to not. Is that like I messed up the game and they're treating it like it was a dream when I restart the game? That's pretty cool. I'm going to go to the inner door and see what happens. My roommate's door. She used to keep it open now. Usually it's closed. I remembered that dream I had. Okay. The door to the outside world. Bathroom? Bathroom. Let's go to the bathroom. I've got to do what i got to do, then go back. Okay. Oh, right. Mm, fair enough. Uh, let's go on the laptop. Ah, I need to work. But I'm so bored I can't focus. Goth GF's iPhone wants, wants to send you a note. What's this? Should I accept? Yes. There we go. There's the uh, funny meme again. Uh, send a note back this time. I wonder if she'll respond. Oh my god, that's so cute. Perfect for distressing, dis de-stressing from my work. That's weird. I hear voices. Seems like they're coming from my roommate's room. She wants to send me a note. <laughs> hee hee. Thank you. Good luck with work. I'm procrastinating from work with makeup right now. Ha ha. Uh, I want to see you. We'll do that again. I'll accept the note. There she is. Tell me I'm beautiful, mother. Teach me your ways. Uh, let's say teach me your ways this time. The noise from my roommate's room has quietened down. Okay. Me, you, love. You're too kind. I'd love to. Want to hang out sometime? Yes. I'm on the second floor, room 206. Swing by sometime. Wow, really? I'm in 221. How come we've never met? I'll come by tonight. Can't wait. Cool. So I've got a date, I think, uh, with the girl down the hall. So... We'll see how that goes. Later that night, I went out to meet Goth Gia. Before I left, my roommate opened her door. Ah, oh, it's her again. You're leaving. When will you get back? Probably after nine. Actually, it's 7.58pm now, so that's fine. Oh. Uh, why? Um, no reason. Okay, bye then. Wait. And um, before the day ends, happy birthday. You remembered. No one else remembered. I didn't even remember. Of course happy I remember. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday Okay. She sang sweetly. Thank you. Well, thank you for being my friend. Mm, what? What? Why are you telling me this? I just thought life is so short, why not express my appreciation for the people I care about? In that case, you're also an amazing friend. Thanks for being my friend too. Aw. Haha, <laughs> I'll see you later then. Goodbye. Can I not? I can't. Ah, meet up with Goff Gia. She told me her name. Amy! We laid on a blanket on the roof and stared at... And started to study, sorry. Although we planned to work on working, we ended up getting lost in conversation. Sky, arts, let time pass. Let's talk about the sky. The sky is gorgeous tonight. I know, right? I'm forever that girl that gets really excited when the sky is all in pretty colours. What do you think of when you look at the sky? Nothing, for once. Only a feeling. Damn. Nothing. You know when your mind is constantly noisy? I look at the sky and I realise it's so much bigger than me. My problems mean nothing compared to it and my mind quiets. That's so poetic. Uh, let's talk about art. So you're into makeup? Hell yeah I am. 
God, can you imagine being so powerful and you can transform into different people? Of course I can. God is a woman. <laughs> uh, makeup artist. Expensive. Makeup is so expensive though. I know. An eyeshadow palette cost can cost 50 bucks. 50 bucks? Jesus Christ. That's 50 cheeseburgers. Yeah, or a couple of quality cheeseburgers. Maybe not for a dollar. That's ridiculous. 50 bucks? Imagine being caught in the rain when you have a full face of makeup on. Not good, bro. Imagine needing to cry but holding it in because your foundation costs the equivalent of 20 shamrock shakes. So true, ha ha ha. I would have thought it was all waterproof by now. Christ. Uh, let's talk about airdrops. So, how many strangers did you airdrop besides me? Everyone that showed up, haha, ha, maybe five? Did you meet all of them? Nah, only you. I'm the only one. You're the, also the only one to send something back, haha. Ha. Uh. Why did you reply? I don't know, bored, wanted to meet people. Meet people? Yeah, I have lots of friends, but I want more, especially close ones. You don't have, you don't have enough right now. Well, I used to have close friends, but we grew apart. I feel you. It's always sad when someone you shared close personal moments with grows distant. Yeah. It's left a void in my heart, you know. And I try to fill it by meeting new people, talking, dating, sleeping around. But no matter how many people I meet, I'm still lonely. Uh, let's fill the void. Is that what you're doing right now? Trying to fill the void with me? Maybe. Yeah, close friends who you can trust anytime, anywhere are the best. But there's going to be times when you have no one. I have none. During those times, I try to improve myself and learn to love the version of me that is now alone. Huh? Learning to love yourself is hard. Yeah. Let the time pass. Time flew in a blink of an eye. Night fell. It's getting late. Yeah, we should head back. That, this was fun. Text me, airdrop me. Ha ha, later, okay? I turned my phone off to save battery. On my way back home, I checked my phone. Ah, oh, no. That's, it's me again. I've, how can I save her? Let's click on mom. I don't think it does. I come back home. Oh, is this different? Oh, no. It's the bloody same, isn't it? Don't come. I'm going to go. It's happening again. I'm going in. Ah, oh, man. The door felt heavier than usual. Oh, shit. As I open the door. Oh, I knew it. Bloody hung herself on the back of the door. I saw the body hanging, the smell, the sight. There was no blood, but I felt blood on my hands. I felt myself looking down on the scene. I felt her. The, the police eventually came and disembodied feeling. I heard myself screaming endlessly. It's just going to go through this again, isn't it? Yeah. This isn't good. Did you hear what happened? No, what? Okay, it's going to skip through this again. Oh, that, that's so creepy. Ah, oh, right. I'm going to try that again then. But there's nothing else I can do if I just say goodbye. Will that stop her from doing it? Because uh, I didn't give her closure to kill herself. I saw a figure. See if this is different. May. It's not safe here. Come back. Okay, fine. It's just the same. Hmm. Well, guys, we're about halfway through. And if you lovely people are enjoying the video and want to see more, then please do consider subscribing as I appreciate any support you guys give me. Or just smash that like button. 
Anyway, let's crack on. Okay. Yep. What was that about? Never mind. I should start working. My roommate's door. She used to keep it and now it's usually closed. Is this going to say I look pretty good? Oh, okay. Something different. My One of my friends should pay... One of my friends paid 240 for a shirt. What? Crazy lunatic. Oh, let's just... Let's not do that. I'd rather just lounge in bed than go to the toilet. I guess. Let's go on the laptop. Ugh, I need to work. But that dream, I can't focus. Is this... What's this? Should I accept this? Uh, no, I'm going to decline you. I'm going to work. So it's kind of... Spend 30 minutes trying to understand, but ultimately end up confused. Why am I a fool? A hooligan? <laughs> An oaf with a PhD in buffoonery. Hmm. It's weird to hear voices. Yeah, come on. Let's see if I can go over there. Getting closer, I hear voices. Listen. Although my Chinese is bad, I could still detect angry Chinese mother when I heard when I heard one. Thailand Li Wei Shen Mi Bu. Too lazy. Why don't you? Her mother's fast. Lecturing Chinese sometimes paused for May's soft murmur of affirmation, then continued. I felt like I was listening to something I should I shouldn't have, so I distracted myself from the sorry, distanced myself from the door. Sometimes I read too fast, don't I? My brain needs to catch up with the mouth. Okay. My roommate's door, May, I hear voices, but I respect her privacy. Really? Okay, let's go back here. Let's accept this. It's the cute dog again. You're so cute. Uh, send a meme back. We'll do that. Responded. Okay. Uh, she sends me a note. Let's do that one. We've done these already, so the only difference is that I actually went to the door. The noise from my room, room, roommates. The noise from my roommate's room has quietened down. Come on, Grump, get your teeth in. Can I move all this crap around? Not really. Can I? Have I lost like the ability to do that because it's gone off the bloody screen? Let's go out and then let's go back into it. Okay, we'll accept that. There we go. I'm a god, yes, I'm down to meet. Feel free to swing by whenever you are. Yep, cool. I think I've busted the game because I can't move this over now. What a load of crap. I can't do anything. Later that night, I went to meet her. Okay, so I probably responded to her. Right, so, I'm just going to say, when will you be back? Probably after nine. Well, that's pretty late, so, bye. Bye. Wait, oh man, before you go, the end, it's happy birthday. You remembered, no one else remembered, I didn't even remember. Happy birthday to you. She sang happy pretty sweetly, thank you. Thank you for being my friend, bye. Thanks for my friend with two. Ah, I'll see you later then. Goodbye. Right, hopefully she won't do anything to herself because I didn't let her have closure. So we'll see. Yeah, name's Amy. Let the time pass. So I grew addicted to her smile. It's getting late. We should head back. Ah, you're cute. Goodbye, kiss. Uh, what? So, hang on. So I spent 
ages clicking on all those other texts to try and woo her. This time I just sit there and do nothing, say nothing, and she says, just give me a kiss. I'll never understand women. Yeah. There we go. Goodbye, kiss. You're the cutest. No, you are. Haha, <laughs> see you later. See you. Cool. I went back home, checked the phone. She's scared again. Oh, Christ. Okay, so... <sighs> Am I missing something here? It's happening again. I'm going to call the police. Right. <sighs> There's something. I'm missing something here. I want to try and save her. I'm pretty sure I can save her. Come back. Don't go into the blizzard, you nutter. It's cold. Right. What was that about? This is... Let's go outside. Let's go to the bathroom quickly. I wonder if that's going to do anything. No. Why can you go there? That makes no sense. can't do anything with that okay let's go here yeah I'm so bored can't focus I'm missing something guys I'm missing something what is it I'm missing uh, decline I'm gonna decline that and I'm going to work right so this is the same Okay, so I hear voices again. Seems like they're coming from my roommate's room. Do I go back this time? Let me go back. I'm going to respect her privacy. Decline work again decline work yep decline again work hmm yep nice one it's, it's quieting down decline right so let's go out of here and let's go to Yeah, I wonder if I should check up on her. Yes. I hesitated, then not. For some reason, I fear what I, I might find. Hello? There she is. This is different. Yes. Um, shit. What should I say? Ah, oh, okay. Looking for a sock? Looking for sock? A sock? Anyway, let's hang out. Want to hang out in my room? And do what? I don't know, talk. But I have work to do. Take a break. You always have work to do. You should take a break. Besides, you, we haven't hung out for a long time. I miss you. Uh, I could use a break, to be honest. And I miss you too. Okay, hold on a sec. She went back into her room to get something. When she came back, we laid on my bed looking out at the setting sun. Okay, so this is interesting. So hopefully I'll change her mind and she won't like hurt herself or kill herself rather. But I wonder if I could have done that from the start. I wonder if I, if I pick these things exactly like this. I could just go to this and miss out all of the uh, heartache of her killing herself. Don't know. Anyway, let's talk about uh, Stuffy. So what are you holding? 
Oh, my pug. Ha ha. I call him Potato. Ah, oh, he looks so well loved. Yeah, he is. My dad gave him, gave me him. That's so sweet. Oh yeah, it's your birthday, right? Haha, <laughs> I forgot. You remembered. Of course I did. All right, again? Oh, thank you with the creepy singing. Oh, so sweet. She sang me happy birthday. Oh, thank you for remembering. As the years flew by, my birthday became like any other day. Happy no one else had remembered it either, but she... Let's ask her how she is. Yeah. So, how have you been? Fine, just tired. Big mood? How so? I don't know, like a bone deep tiredness. Day after day. I don't know if she call her that. I'll just say, what do you mean, I think. What do you mean? Like, every day I wake up, force myself to do something. I don't like and go back to sleep. Sometimes I look outside my window and see the whole world out there and feel the struggle of being stuck inside all day. Hmm. So you understand that might. Yeah. Her, huh, I think I can understand that. You can? I mean, I feel like that when I'm absolutely must do something I don't like, like math. Haha, <laughs> yeah. Yeah, you're definitely not alone. I feel a, I feel like a lot of people do the, do things because they're supposed to, not because it makes them happy. I think it's more than doing things that make you happy, though. I need purpose. I want to feel like my life has direction. It's cliche, but... Why not do what you love? It's not that easy. If I knew what I love doing, I'd be doing it by now. But I don't know what I want to do. You like nothing? It's this constant. I'll help you. I'll help you. We'll figure this out. I'll try out every hobby and profession with you if that's what it takes. Thank you. Why are you so good to me? Because I'm worried about you and I care about you. I want you to feel better. Let's uh, dream. I have, I had a weird dream. Oh, what? It was about you, actually. It's kind of haunting. Oh my god, I need to hear this. You're in a snowstorm. I called for you, but you didn't hear me. And I lost you. Huh? What does that, what does it mean? Oh, she's turned over on her side. Well, she always on her side. I don't, didn't notice. I have no idea, but it's stuck with me. Ah, oh, I hope you're okay. I hope you're okay too, May. It's just a dream. Here, if you're still scared by bedtime, I'll tell you a bedtime story, okay? Oh yeah, bedtime stories. Hmm, what do you dream? I'm gonna stare outside. I'm not gonna stare outside yet. I'm gonna ask her what she dreams. What are your dreams like? Oh, disturbing. Someone always dies. Yes, she always bloody dies. We need to change that. Like, most recent one, it featured you, actually. In a bad or good way. Good. Go on. Haha, <laughs> there was a massive epidemic, and it was going to wipe out the world. I got infected. I was going to die. Then you discovered the cure, and I was saved. Wow, that's scary. I always knew I was going to save the world. Yeah, dream you, <laughs> dream you really saved me. Uh, parents. Oh yeah, what were those noises about? Hmm, earlier in your room. Ah, my mum called, sorry, I didn't bother. Did I bother you? No, she sounded really angry though. Yeah, uh, she and I, oh yeah, they are turning over. She just moved. She and I... Is everything okay with you two? I don't know. Every time my mum calls, I feel sick, angry. Uh, let's say, want to talk. Do you want to talk about it? Talk about what? 
why she makes you feel that way. Ha, huh. you sound like a therapist. How are you feeling? Why are you feeling that way? I just want to help you. Yeah, I know. I was always the golden child. When I was young, I was good at everything, so my parents never pushed me to work hard at anything. As I grew up, I started lagging behind because I didn't put in the effort. The only thing I would put effort into was writing. They yelled at me when they caught me writing. Writers weren't engineers or doctors. Writing would never make money. Now my life is slowly falling apart instead of listening to me and helping me. My parents are yelling at me for wasting time playing games. Wow, thank you for telling me this. That's fucked. Thanks for listening. Uh, uh, let's say that. I hope they realise that it's normal and okay to get in, in a rut sometimes. Regardless, I believe you. Thanks. Writing. What did you write about before your parents made you stop? Oh my god, it's embarrassing. You can tell me. Okay, won't laugh? I promise. Harry Potter fan fiction. Yeah, Harry Potter, Ravenclaw. Uh, haha. You said you wouldn't laugh. Sorry, I'm just surprised. I don't, don't be ashamed. That's awesome. Yeah, it is awesome. I love Harry Potter. Uh, if you say so. I do say so. Uh... Yeah, write more. No, what fan fiction? What exactly did you write? I worked on one fic tip, like, had like 20,000 words before I had to stop. It was Harry Potter if Harry Potter was evil, gay, and promiscuous. <laughs> oh dear. Oh my god. That's so funny. Oh my god. I know, embarrassing, but back then I was proud. It had character arcs and a main plot and everything. No, that's brilliant. All the hours you must have put into it. It's mind-blowing. If you ever dig it up, I'd love to read it sometime. Ah, oh, thanks. I've lost the inspiration for that one. But maybe I'll show you something else I'm working on. Hmm. What's that? What are you working on? Hmm, a script for a game. Oh, so cool. That's so cool. What game? Like, a psychological game. With a relatable game. A game where the writing is actually realistic. It's not this game, is it? Is this like breaking a wall or something? I could date an anime wafu and I can actually see myself in real life. Meeting, dating and maybe you hauling it with. Haha, <laughs> you hauling? What's that? Like, whenever you meet someone and the two of you just undeniably click. So much that you... You haul your stuff to her place so you can live together. Oh, okay. Oh my god. Yep. I feel that in my bones. Good luck. I hope you make that game. Thanks. I'm not sure if I... If I'll ever, though. It will be hard and I don't know how to fund it. How I'll fund it. I'll probably just get a boring but well-paid 95 job like my parents want me to. Oh, that's cool. Let's uh, stare outside now. This is relaxing, but I'm also getting tired. Ha <laughs> ha. Really? I'm wide awake. I think I'm just tired in general. How so? Do you ever feel like the day is the same day? Kind of. It's satisfying sort of monotony. Monotony. A day where I stay inside, windows open, with tea and a book is the good shit. <laughs> oh. Do you not feel the same? I don't know. I feel like I wake up and do things I don't enjoy, go to sleep, then do it all over again. Oh, okay, that's interesting. Okay, let's uh, depressed. Do you think you're do you think you're depressed? Um, maybe. I look. I took antidepressants antidepressants a long time ago but felt like they didn't work that sucks maybe it's the type of antidepressant 
Maybe you need to try one, a different one. Uh, don't take my advice. Actually, I know nothing. Haha, <laughs> you me, mean neither, mean either, mean either, me neither. I think that's meant to be. Yeah. Not just about this, but in general, I feel you. Has it gotten better, the tiredness? Not really. By now, I kind of just want to die. E. Uh, suicidal, I think. Are you suicidal? Christ, that's pretty just direct, isn't it? Okay. Um. Oh my god, I'm sorry. That was so blunt. Yeah. Or too blunt. Feel free not to answer. No, you're good. Yeah, I think about it sometimes. I feel like we all do, though. I imagine how it will go down. How it will look, smell, the aftermath. Whether anyone would care I was gone. Not just about how I went. Shit. Um... Okay, I was saying that I understand. No, I can understand. You must be dealing with some shit. Please don't tell anyone. They might kick me out of school. That's the last thing I need. Of course, I won't tell anyone. Thanks. You know where... I know where you're coming from, I think. You do? Yeah, then I wouldn't have any problems. But then, I wouldn't have anything. Afterlife, there's nothing. For me, this is the only show I get. Then, why step out early? Ah, oh, okay. Let's, let's go with glad you're alive. Maybe it's selfish, but I'm glad you're scared. I don't want you to go. You mean a lot to me. Thanks. Now I've got to let the time pass. We talk more about everything and nothing. From TV shows and memes to our worst fears and biggest desires. Before we knew it evening dawned. I've got to go. I have to work. Yeah, good luck. I'm always down to hang out. Hang again. Hang again. Yes, poor choice of words when she's thinking about hanging herself. Jesus Christ, mate. Yeah, thank you for listening to me. It really means a lot. Although I also had to work, I didn't regret talking to May one bit. Right, okay. Uh... My store's open. I wonder where she is. Okay. So go to the mirror again? This outfit must have cost less than 50. One of my friends paid 240 for a shirt. I can relate. Back to the laptop then. Wants to send you a note. What's this? Should I accept it? Yeah, let's accept it now. Best when she be back, partner. You good, fam? Yeah, I'm, I'm good. Can I message her back? Okay. It only gave me that choice, really. She wants to send me a note. Yeah, it's this. So cute. Send back a meme. I wonder if I should just li yawn. Wow, time flies. I kind of need to use the bathroom. I must, I must see all that tea. Oh, is this what's going on in the bathroom? Oh, Christ. She's cut herself. I opened the door, my roommate, May. She didn't seem to hear or see me. Ah, oh, what? This is not good. Hey, are you okay? I'm fine. I'm sorry. Why are you apologising? I... Are you really okay? You don't look okay. I need to go. Hug her. Wait, don't go. Can I hug you? She nodded silently. I hugged her. I wanted to say something, yet didn't want to break the silence. After a pause, she spoke. 
thank you. Uh, I guess I'm not okay. I just say I'm okay because it's a gut reaction. I don't feel, I don't really feel okay, but I don't want to bother anyone, especially you. You're so kind. I made soothing motions on her back. Why are you sad? I don't know. I I really don't want to talk right now. That's okay. I'm here for you. I'm not a professional or anything, but when you need to talk, I'll always listen. Thank you again. Is there anything I can do? Hug. Just hug. Oh man, this is like, this is proper. <sighs> this is intense. It's been months since that day. May and I have gotten closer and I'd even consider my best friend. The dark, <coughs> excuse me, in the dark moments, take some juice. In the dark moments, take some juice. We held each other's hands. Although I supported her, I didn't want to feel responsible for her. I didn't want her to be dependent on me. So we drove to every therapist in town until we found one she liked. One night, she hugged me by surprise. May? Thank you. Me? For what? Uh, don't know how to say this without seeming emotionally constipated. Thanks for caring about me, for listening to me. I couldn't tell you before because I was sad, but I really appreciate you. And I have no eyes. <laughs> but I was sad, but I really appreciate you, really. Oh, my eyes are back. Ah, uh, any time. Thank you too for being my friend. You teach me to be more kind. Oh my God, no you. No you. Uno reverse. Whatever that means. Later that night, she gave me a note, both haunting and touching. It read, I was buried in the blizzard. The snow pelted powerfully, powerful and unpredictable, never ending. I weakly cried for help. No one came. My voice was lost in the snow. But you saw my messages. You grabbed a shovel, helped, and I could finally open the door. The end. Hope. There's something to look forward to after all. Thank you for playing. By Angela He, inspired by a real life Evan and Junji. Oh my God, that was real life. So that was like somebody went through that. I mean, I know people are going through that, but somebody actually went through that and made a game out of it that's so cool well guys um thank you for watching this uh, that was pretty deep and quite intense uh i'm not normally lost for words but that's pretty much <laughs> rendered me speechless uh i think what i'm going to do though is i'm going to put some telephone numbers for the uk samaritans and some other helplines in the description below because this might hit home for a few of you guys and uh, I think that if you can get help from anywhere then it's always a good thing to try and reach out and uh, get that help so I'll do that and thank you for watching uh, I think my next video is going to be a bit more light-hearted because this one was pretty pretty intense so yeah thanks for watching and I'll see you guys in the next video bye